Hey YouTube, it's Fix It All 329. Uh, today we're going to show you the DJI Hobby F450 quad flame wheel. Uh, just picked it up. This is going to be my first kit for quads. I've been getting in more and more in interested in quads, so I figured I'd pick this one up as my first one. It's a pretty nice size. It comes with 8 inch props and 10 inch props. So let's take a look inside and see what it has. So you see the box, it's not too big, it's pretty small. Let's see, alright. So here we got the uh, booms, as you see, white and red to tell orientation. We got the props, we got the 10 inch right here and got the 8 inch right here see another, there's the other 8 inch let's see you got your velcro the battery strap you got uh, some battery leads a tool We got four 30 amp speed controls. We got one, two, three, and four motors, as you see. Get your hardware, two packs of hardware. And the main center board. So all the ESCs get soldered up to here. This is where your battery gives its power and distributes it throughout the quad. Alright, so that's the kit. As you see, it's an ARF kit. So, got that. Next, we'll take a look at the other unit that you need. You don't have to go with the NASA. But I decided to go with the NASA. I heard really good things about it. Um, it's pretty nice. This is the Autopilot M. NASA M for the multi-rotors. They do also make one, the Autopilot. Uh, they make the NASA H, which is for helis. So here you got the unit. Pretty nice. You got your plugs on both sides. Here's the wires to connect your receiver, whatever you decide to chose. I'm going to be using a 7-channel uh, receiver. I'm going to be putting telemetry on this, and I'm going to be also ha um, using my DX18 QQ. Here's your, uh, this is the BEC. And the other thing that comes in there is the USB cable to program it with your PC. Yes, you do need a PC to program this. Next, we have the GPS. Um, highly recommended if you're going to do the NAS unit. Uh, this will bring the quadcopter back to you wherever you plug it in. Um, I've heard some people do some bad stories, uh, do some bad things like plugging it in in their house and taking it outside and flying it. Um, and then when they get into an issue and pull the switch, what happens is the quadcopter is going to go where it was plugged in so make sure you plug it in in the spot that you are going to want it to come back to um, besides that this is a great unit too let's take a look inside here um, altogether this kit comes to about six six fifty or so six hundred and fifty dollars so it's not too bad for a 450 size quad so you got the mount here this is what mounts it to the frame and it like rises it off the frame about four inches and then here's the GPS unit this plugs right into the NASA so everything is very nice easy plug-and-play as you can tell with all the little things they send everything very nicely organized it's not too hard to you know figure out um, which is a nice thing so I'm gonna be putting it together um, I'm probably going to be doing a build video 
uh, basically just showing how I'm going to be putting it together. Um, besides that, hopefully you like the video. Subscribe. Check out my other videos. Uh, I'm going to be consistently doing more and more videos. Um, been trying to keep up on getting some more good videos out there. Uh, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Um, and uh, I'll be getting some more videos coming soon. I'm ordering a GoPro Hero uh, 3, the Black Edition. So soon I'll be doing some uh, FPV videos with this stuff too. Um, and I'm looking into getting into that. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe, like I said. Um, and uh, have a good day.